The state argued that in the days leading up to the murder, Glossop had become aware that Barry Van Treese was growing suspicious of the missing money and was ready to fire him. So according to the prosecution, Glossop came up with a plan to murder Barry and take over the motel. But instead of doing the murder himself, prosecutors contend that Glossop convinced his 19-year-old maintenance man, Justin Sneed, to do the actual killing. Justin Sneed had drifted into town from Texas as part of a roofing crew and eventually stayed at the Best Budget Inn. Now, according to prosecutors, Sneed agreed to murder Barry Van Treese inside room 102 in exchange for the money in Van Treese's car. But of course, what you believe depends on who you believe. So according to Justin, that night, Justin's in his room, 117. He takes this bat, takes the master keys that he has, goes down to Barry's room. Barry wakes up. The struggle ensues. They kind of get caught up and amongst each other. Justin goes backwards with a bat, smashes out the middle of the window, and then he kind of comes back up, and then Justin just swings away. Everything that they find here indicates a great struggle, that there was a, some hell of a fight, basically, and that Barry put up a hell of a fight, but ultimately was overpowered. We know that there are people who are aware that something was going on in this room. The man staying next door, he hears arguing, but he can't really make out what they're saying. Nobody seemed inclined to intervene. After the murder, Justin Sneed circles back to his room, 117, cleans himself up, Then he returns to room 102, takes the car keys, gets in Barry's car, drives it over to the Wioki Credit Union, and steals the funds that were left in the car. Now, Richard has a completely different story. Richard hears a tapping on the wall where the manager's apartment was. It's Justin Sneed, and he's got a big knot on the side of his head. Sneed says that the glass in room 102 broke, that there were some drunks fighting. Richard says, in the morning, we'll get some plexiglass and put it out there. As he's leaving, he basically says, oh, and I killed Barry. You know, it's, um, it's weird because if you would have seen the way he was acting, the smile on his face and stuff, you would have not believed that he did anything wrong. So I, you know, I was pretty out of it when I went to the door and I just didn't believe anything. And it's not like he hadn't told weird stories before. So, I mean, Justin was really an odd guy. 